Awesome. Let's get started with recording. Begin with the character creation screen, and I'll guide you through each step. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now work in the Star Dock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Biometric ID. We'll start with our biometric ID. The current profile looks good, but let's make Astronova distinctive. One gender, female. Two, face. Let's customize the face to have sharp features with a strong jawline. Three, hair. Short, silver hair with a futuristic style. Four, body type, athletic build. Next, let's move on to the body customization screen. Body customization. Let's adjust the body settings for Astronova. Body type. We'll keep it at type two for an athletic build. Muscular, thin, heavy. Adjust the slider slightly towards muscular to reflect strength and endurance, but keep a balanced physique. Walk style. Walk style too looks good, giving her a confident stride. Face customization. Let's finalize Astronova's face with the following details. Head shape, adjust to have sharp features with a strong jawline. Hair, change to short, silver hair with a futuristic style. Use hair 26 if it looks closest to this description. Hair color, set to a silver or light gray. Use hair color five if it matches. Eyes, select a striking bright eye color to give a distinctive look. Background selection for Astronova, we want a background that complements her adventurous and exploratory spirit. Let's choose the Explorer background. Explorer, this background gives her skills in navigation, piloting, and survival, which are perfect for her role as a space explorer. One, Empath provides better negotiation skills and helps form alliances easily. Two, extrovert. 
uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, which fits Astronova's background. Three, Taskmaster. Provides a boost to productivity and efficiency, enhancing her leadership and operational skills. Set these traits and once done, let's dive into our adventure. Completing the profile name, Astronova, background, explorer, traits, empath, extrovert, taskmaster. Please enter the name Astronova and finalize the profile. Once done, let's jump into the game and start our adventure. I forgot Explorer was on your application. Must have been slow work when you don't have a ship. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Let's respond with, there was this on, light you're fine. and music. Let's hear it. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Respond with, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, nor you ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. What? Let's choose. Oh, sorry. If Don't they can tell me something. what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. This- Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Let's choose. Thanks for everything, Lynn. This shows appreciation for the past support and maintains a positive relationship as Astronova moves on to her new adventure. Once you've made the selection, let me know what happens next and we'll continue our journey. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. 
very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Great. Let's board our ship and get acquainted with Vasco, our robot companion. Once on board, let's check out the ship's controls and systems to prepare for our first mission. Head towards the ship and let me know when you're ready for the next step. Vasco is preparing to boost the shields. Let's proceed to the cockpit and get ready for takeoff. Check the ship's controls and systems to ensure everything is in order. Once you've done that, let's take off and head to our first destination. Let's take off. Hit the space key to launch our ship and begin our journey to the stars. Once we're in space, we'll set our first destination and continue the adventure. Let me know once we're airborne. We've landed at the Crete Research Base. Let's exit the ship and start exploring. Our current mission is to deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. Head out and let's investigate the base. Be cautious and prepared for any encounters. Let me know what you find. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. It looks like we've encountered some local wildlife. Let's approach cautiously to avoid any unnecessary conflict. Keep your weapon ready, just in case. Continue towards the objective marker and let me know if you encounter anything noteworthy or need to make any We've reached the Crete Research Base. Let's proceed inside and locate the Crimson Fleet Captain. Stay alert for any hostiles. Enter the building and let me know what you find. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Let's choose. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. This approach might help de-escalate the situation and give us a chance to negotiate or gather more information. Go ahead and select that option. Let me know what happens next. Oh, no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. Persuade Brogan to cut his losses and avoid further conflict. Tell him, there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. Press E to proceed with the persuasion attempt. Choose. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? Plus five. So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Choose. You're running out of time to walk away from this. I'm ready when you are. Choose. Beating up people like you is how I get my kicks, you know? You don't scare me. I've heard enough out of you. Kill them! Ego dictates that I have to return to the lodge with no deviations.
Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. job on the mission. Here's what we've accomplished. One, landed at Crete Research Base. We explored the base and encountered some interesting alien creatures. Two, persuaded Brogan. Managed to convince Brogan and his crew that Constellation isn't about treasure hunting. Three, escaped Crete, successfully lifted off and evaded any hostile threats. Four, scanned for contraband. Our ship passed the security scan with no issues and we are now cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Let's proceed with the next steps in our adventure. Onward to New Atlantis. Got it, keep moving forward with the mission. Let's see what adventure awaits next.